E a breve, okay. proprio adesso, introdurremo il nostro ospite, che è una grande superstar, quindi passo la parola okay. a Max. Sì, yes, you know, I'm really honored to have uh, with us tonight Everett Bradley! 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 Welcome! <laughs> welcome to Italy, welcome to Milan, welcome from all over the world. There are friends from everywhere. But before we start, I, let me say, I am right here all the words for you because they are too much. Maybe all the fans maybe don't know who you are. Guys, Everett Bradley, superstar, wonderful human being, TV personality, Broadway star, dancer, percussionist, choreographer, nominated for Grammy Awards, working with David Bowie, rock star who stood with Bruce Springsteen and Bon Jovi. Really. So before we start, this is your... Before we start, this is the intro for you so we can start our episode with you. This is funny, guys. Oh, holiday yeah. Dropping our own brand of holiday folk in your heart and in your hips. Come on, y'all, it's time to party. Holodelic was born out of my wow, obsession love- with Parliament Funkadelic. I grew up on that music and I love it. And I also like Christmas. I'm like a Christmas geek. <laughs> I love it. He brings such a great energy oh, to yeah. the live show. Yeah, he's bigger, larger than life on yeah. stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Energy's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. He's got a big smile and he's always cooking. He's a joy to be around. That's our endorsement. Yeah, Wonderful human being. Every breath. I'm Meredith Vieira here with Papadelic. And we're going to read one of my favorite, one of our actually favorite yes. Christmas stories. It was the night before Christmas. I play a character named Papadelic, and I wear I a love big it. white fro <laughs> with Christmas lights in it and six So inch much fun. <laughs> Papadelic is the warm fuzziness of Christmas that we all know during the holidays, but it's like a contemporary look at the holidays through funk. So Holodelic has been running for years now, and every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's one big party. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> that was so great! <laughs> I keep laughing so just fun. because I never thought in a million years that that world <laughs> would collide with Bon Jovi like this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Unpredictable, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Absolutely funny. After three years touring for the This House Not For Sale tour, you know, there are fans, you are uh, inside the heart of the fans because you are such a human being and uh, incredible. So there are there are fans from really from all over the world. I don't know if you have seen the caption there. So the people is uh, very enthusiastic, enthusiastic. So Everett, what do you, from where you want to start to talk? Maybe from, I, I, I remember you told me one time after uh, an after, during, um, after a show in the, during the tour that um, I don't remember the place, I don't remember the hotel, but you told me that for you the music is a celebration. And, uh, uh, and you told me also about this holidaylic project. So tell the fans what, what you have to say about it. You mean about holidaylic? Yeah. Or- both. Well, uh, yeah, Holodelic is, um, I mean, it's true. I really do love Christmas. Even as a child, I used to, I couldn't wait till um, everyone started decorating their homes and the snow came and the trees went up. And I just 
think that everyone is very sweet to each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it. Everyone seems yeah. to be very nice and giving and um, yeah, and just feel like it's one of those rare times in the world where people really sort of come together. Yeah. And uh, so I wanted to make an album to celebrate that in my own way in sort of a contemporary sort of way and, um, and for people to dance because I yeah. love dance. And so uh, yeah. I just wanted to bring the two feelings together. You, you can see some picture of you. I love it. Believe me, I love it. Look at this. Wow. Dance, girl. fun, and joy. It's pure joy. Yes. Joy, energy, and... <laughs> oh Look at this one. I really, really, I can't wait to fly again overseas <laughs> to United States and Broadway or wherever to see one Those of Those outfits these are incredible. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny to see all the different outfits in a row like that. That's crazy. Yeah. You're, you, you, yeah, you change your clothes more than a superstar like Madonna or Lady Gaga or something. <laughs> like that too, right? <laughs> I love it. Exactly. I, really. But you know, one of the things that's really important to me is that Both of my parents, they passed away at Christmas time. So yeah. oh. one was uh, in, at Christmas 2003, and my father was Christmas 2005. So it has become a way for me to get through the holidays by sort right. of yeah. dancing my way through. It's like therapy. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. True. Very yeah. true, yeah. Yes, I it's love it. It's a way to to pull out something good out of something bad. Exactly. Right? Exactly. exactly. Plus, I mean, you know, it was my mother who helped me um, become a performer and musician. So it's also a celebration towards that and to, to, to honor her. Exactly. For them. Yeah. 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 That's why you told me that for you, the music is a celebration. In every kind of music, in every kind of situation, the, the, the most important thing is when there is music, there is happiness, energy, and celebration for someone, maybe, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's why I love doing these big tours, because I just, you know, all, all the people from everywhere, they show up, and that's what it is. It's like, oh, we all love this yeah. music, and we love this person, and we, or these people. And uh, it should be a party. It's like a, yeah. it's, it's a celebration. So that's why I can't stop dancing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, when, when uh, uh, let's talk about uh, your big tour. For example, I saw you also with Bruce and, uh, hmm. the, and the East Street Band. How many years have you ever toured with Bruce? How many sure tours remember. with Bruce? Yeah. How many? Two. For how many years? Uh, from 2012 to yeah. 2014. Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, I saw you in Milan also, in San Siro Stadium. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was there. Twice. Wow. Twice. <laughs> We were there too, yeah. yeah. We were yeah. there. Luca, I was Those with you, right? Those were amazing shows. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I yeah. had no so idea. Long. So yeah. long. Always, uh, band, always like three hour... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the band they kept warning me they kept saying wait till you get to italy and milan they're crazy there they're crazy <laughs> yeah and sure we, enough we know it's true we know only also john and uh bon jovi knows that uh the italian fans in milan were over in 2013 we were crazy <laughs> because you know we have we have organized this big choreography like the bruce fans also yeah and, uh, uh, have you I heard remember, about it No. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no. no. Heard about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I remember the, the never ending shows with Bruce. Oh. At the end, I was yes. tired more than you because after three hours, you know, we were laid down on the, on the ground, on the stadium, and you were playing three hours, three hours, 10 minutes. An hour 15, oh, it's crazy. So, okay, can, do you, can yeah. you, do you have to, 
go to the bathroom? Like you, like how do you these don't. people laugh? You don't. <laughs> you don't. You say that. Yeah, that not is popular. crazy. Yeah. I thought sure maybe you could wear, you know, like a nappy. <laughs> and you wear nappies and just go in them no. so you don't. Miss we are using. You are using. <laughs> we are using. We keep inside everything. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. After 6 p.m., you don't move. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, luckily, but in summer we, is hot. Before, so we would, um, before we would go on stage with Bruce, everyone had to stop drinking 30 minutes before going on to stage. <laughs> yeah. Team, of course. You know some tricks. We weren't allowed to leave after that. <laughs> We wouldn't have a chance to use the bathroom, so we had to just yeah. stop it. Yeah, yeah, incredible, incredible. Yeah, I know, I know. Fortunately, you know, in the United States, the concerts are different because in the arena, every place is reserved, right? It's a seated. So you can move it when you want, go to the toilet, and then come back. There is no problem. In yeah. Europe, no. no. In the stadium, you have to stay. No. We don't move. Stay. <laughs> wow! No, you you can uh, no, no, now you can move, but it's not easy. Not easy. It's but depends easy. where. <laughs> yeah, yeah, incredible. So, before to talk about Bon Jovi experience uh, and your years with uh, John Bon Jovi for Destination Anywhere, before to talk also with the um, King of Suburbia project, let's see one video. To, to dance, to have a party for the holiday league again with you on stage, because I want to show you to the fans now uh, what you do and the, with this project. A part because of what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Whoa. I love it. <laughs> really, I like it. <laughs> this is a celebration. I love the sunglasses. <laughs> look, look at that. Wow. Thanks to you, I'm improving my couch dancing here. <laughs> <laughs> we can try it with, with your music. <laughs> So you do these shows every year, every Christmas? Every year. Yeah, every Christmas. Wow. I, skipped, I skipped one Christmas and I got so much hate mail. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh people disappointed. People gave yeah. me threatening phone calls for me to not do Why? that again. How could you not doing that? Exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, we don't have something like that here in Europe. No, yeah. no, no. no. no we... I would love to bring this to Europe. I'm working on that. Maybe you can do it. Yes. 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 We will come for sure. <laughs> we will come. Maybe London or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, anywhere in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. 
I, I can stay here hours watching you dancing. Oh, with yes. This yes. Uh, that is beautiful. very sweet of you. I, I want I, I wanted to show you this video to from to all the fans that doesn't know this project because I there see, are many I see. Yeah. because there are many fans hey. that maybe know you only for you, Bruce you, or or uh, you wrote all the all the music of this uh, yeah you wrote uh, all the music oh, yes great. yes sometimes I take traditional songs though and twist them. Uh, there's a song on the album called uh, Sugar Rump Fairies, and uh, it's taken from Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies from Tchaikovsky. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> you, you told me also that, uh, that you have worked with David Bowie. Yes. Uh, my wow. friend, uh, Mark Platy, he... Yeah. Uh, he and I went to college together, and yeah. uh, he was working with David Bowie. Uh, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, the the album called Earthling. Mm -hmm. It was sort of like a drum and bass sort of influenced yeah. record. And then the next album after that was called Hours, and oh. they uh, he hired me to come in and play percussion, and uh, yeah, percussion. I played a djembe yeah. and a shaker on a song called oh. um, Seven is the name of the song. Oh, wow. David wasn't there at the recording session, but okay. he apparently came in and really liked it. And so it stayed on the album. And then he invited me to the listening party. And that's when I met him. Ah. Uh. Yeah. He was very, very Great sweet memories. person. And then um, when he was putting a tour together, I went to audition for his touring band, but he uh, he wanted to have a female singing uh, okay. instead. Oh, okay. It's very difficult to turn from men to women. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. We can share as much as we want, but we can't. <laughs> I know, I tried. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good starting point. It's a good starting point. Give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> work, work, work on it. Work on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, guys, uh, every Bradley is a real superstar. So I'm, I'm very proud. It's, uh, it's also some, an exclusive for us because you are yeah. inside the fans, inside the Bon Jovi fans. So it's very, very nice. And I think all the fans are appreciating that you are here with us. There are really fans. Yeah, everyone loves you. <laughs> oh, yeah. that is so nice. I mean, sometimes I feel a little um, like an outsider just because I bring such a different kind no. of energy to the Bon Jovi crew i mean they're yeah, but all it's a positive energy i know but they're all but like that. The they're all like playing they get mean faces and you know <laughs> you i see. don't know how to rough it up like that i just have to keep i just i don't know i just have to dance yeah. and smile i can't help it yeah yeah no, there are they get nice. nervous that it's too much yeah yeah there are some fans that no, it's are great. I think every Bon Jovi fans loves Everett because he brought new energy and joy to the band. So, oh, so reading the, the comments That's here. It. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> ah, it's true, yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank we you. We have all the Your comments. Fresh air. Everett, you are awesome. It's all of, of, There are so many. <laughs> yeah, there are so many. <laughs> yeah. I'm just speaking but, some, but uh, they keep go Everybody's commenting. <laughs> we love you. You are not yeah. an outsider. Yeah. You know, no, it's all. No, thank you so. for um, being so open and uh, accepting of me. I appreciate it. It was so easy. No, thank you so for easy. being in the band that we know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. we, we, You're we, on board now, so <laughs> yeah. we will we will tell John to to keep you forever until uh, oh, the end exactly. of the season. Exactly. <laughs> if you want. So, talk, speaking about Bon Jovi now, because uh, about the experience with uh, Everett, 
on Bon Jovi. Uh, we have a, uh, uh, what's your, um, you have two or three years, right? With a band and- uh, yes, I, With a was, band, the, like the Bon Jovi band since 2016. Yeah. Yeah, 16 and uh, three years on tour. And uh, we were also in London for the um, sh um, uh, the private, for the, um, for the, well, the, for the showcase. The last party of oh, yeah, the, the theater. The theater. The theater. The Palladium, Palladium yeah. Theater. Palladium. We were there for the show and I uh, was there also for the after party on the upside uh, of the theater there with all the band. And in all these years, you, you have some special moment or maybe something that you can remember and you like most than the others or you, what you prefer? What, what is touring with a band? Private jet, hotel, uh, the, the, the concert, the food? Tell us something. Oh, wow. There's so <laughs> much to everything. I mean, all of it is so... Um, It's kind of like careful what you wish for. <laughs> oh, Do you understand this this yeah. thing? Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, you want some food? We can It's try like, to ah! imagine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want a nice place to sleep? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so Crazy. But yeah. um uh oh, what happened to everyone? But uh you know, where you are here. We disappear. Really? Hey! <laughs> no, but um, I, it's it's really like the most. It's almost a uh, sensory overload. It's like the best of anything that you could want, in some ways. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, very humbled and appreciative, and so honored to be a part of something so special. And then on top of that. Everyone in the band and the crew, they're all so very sweet. Such nice, nice people. Because um, you deserve. Because you uh, deserve. Yeah, exactly. sweet. <laughs> and, and the fans, of course, they take such good care and, and so attentive. And it's just, everything is just unbelievable, really. It's We really love. good. We love you. I Sorry, feel yeah. very well cared for. Uh, and then, you know, John is so sweet. He always takes us out to really nice dinners and lets us do, uh, get to know the neighborhoods that we stay in and and and, uh, and sort of get a feel for the community in every city, which is fantastic. And also with with the art, and museums, and uh, and seeing other music. I mean, yeah. it's just amazing opportunities, and I've met such amazing warm people yeah it's really it's unbelievable i'm always um, pinching myself what do you what do you think about <laughs> of course oh, oh yeah of course you are you were not um inducted in the rock and roll Hall of fame with a band but cleveland 2018 for the bon job induction you weren't inducted of course but uh you were on stage with a band yes <laughs> I kept asking them, like, do I really? Should I be a part of this? And they're like, no, no, you should do it. <laughs> But to be up there with all of that royalty was really interesting. And But at the same time, I felt like I was a part of the journey just because I've been touring with John since 1997. Seven, yeah. 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 So I, I have sort of a relationship with him and I've seen him go in and out of phases with acoustic things and and um, things with band members and different kinds of music and different producers and and also with his personal life. Uh, I've gotten to know his family. I love Dorothea. She is yeah. the most <laughs> amazing party down to Africa, yes. ever like <laughs> yeah. not even playing around like if she's gonna have a party you better be ready because yeah. it will kill you <laughs> uh, uh, she's I was, amazing yeah yeah uh i was honored and i was very lucky because john introduced me 
uh, his wife, Dorothea, and uh, I had the opportunity to talk with her and uh, really uh, a woman, a woman uh, with all my respect for yeah. everything. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, it's a and great she's family. incredibly, incredibly beautiful and very grounded. Yeah, in these days they are working a lot for for the people in need. You know yes. that John can stay at home on the coach waiting, right? He's he's uh, super active. Always do right? something. Yeah. Yeah. He can't yeah. stay. <laughs> no, no, he can't. So That's he, for sure. They are helping all the person in need more in New York. For the, this pandemic, uh, you know, with the John Bon Jovi Soul Foundation, uh, but you know, John is with you on stage. Was also very nice guy because sometimes during bad medicine, uh, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? He said, "Okay, Everett, can you sing for me?" And we have now about forty seconds oh, of no. you. And uh, believe me. <laughs> when I find your bed, I'm trying to leave. I just can't find Wow. <laughs> wow! So perfect. You should have seen the whole song. <laughs> oh, they really need it. <laughs> wow! So it's a it's a forty Great. second Everett. Your voice during bad medicine is uh, powerful. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we were having dinner. And it was the show was in South America the first time that I did yeah. that, and uh, we were having yes. dinner before the show backstage. And John, um, he asked me when everyone was sitting around. He's like, "Can yeah. you do the second verse of Bad Medicine?" And yeah. the whole table went silent. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'll, I'll "Waiting for the last man." <laughs> He's of like, course. yeah, just do the second verse. And then everyone, I think after, because I don't think he's ever had someone do the second verse of that song ever, right? Yeah. Never. You are the no. first. No. I know. So yeah. that's why everyone got silent, like, what? John is giving up the verse. <laughs> you are the first. So, um, yeah, and then all the guys start saying, yeah, man, ever you'll rock it. And I'm like, I will. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> was, what was big trust. What was very painful about it is that that song doesn't usually come up till the end of the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I had to yeah. go through the whole show going. <laughs> oh <my God! laughs> Wait for no, the moment. Wait for it was a moment. nightmare. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Really beautiful. <laughs> and I, I look. I was in South America on tour. This video was. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, from from uh, look at everywhere. From Curitiba, I think this video. Yes, that's you, the because you sing in Curitiba and also in Lima, two times. Right. Uh, yes, you did. Yeah. But you did also the third Great. time in um, I was in the Mediterranean cruise. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, yeah. Burbia, and yeah. it was unbelievable because some uh, there was uh, when you bleed, you 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 sang like uh, very groovy, right? And uh, I remember Matt uh, Matt Bon Jovi and John himself was looking at you and say, "Oh my God, it's fun! It's incredible! It's beautiful!" <laughs> And uh, we don't have the video because it wasn't easy to, to prepare it. Oh, but yeah. uh, this part with you singing bad medicine was uh, really powerful and funny because the left yeah. stage of, of yes, the, a lot of fun. Yeah, of yeah. The, lot of fun. The, the left side of the stage is uh, with you is more powerful, right? <laughs> you are, you are. Yeah. A, 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 See, and now that's bad. It shouldn't be unbalanced like that. It should be, you know, 
<laughs> the same on both sides, don't you think? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know, um, some people were not lucky enough to travel uh, in Europe, especially here in Italy. So they they didn't see uh, a live concert. They only saw photos uh, and YouTube videos. And at a certain point, they, they just say, "Why John isn't playing maracas on the plate?" <laughs> I just say, look behind John, look how many maracas. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. I only play like when, you know, I step it up a little bit if he doesn't play. I actually miss him not playing though, because he, he dances when he plays. Yes, yes, it's why yes. we're playing. <laughs> yeah, I miss that. But you know, but, he's, on a, he's on a new journey. And we have to embrace that. Yeah. We have a, this is a you and John. Look at this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So stylish. So, so stylish. Yes. <laughs> I forgot about that picture. It's so good. Wow. This is very This is very good. nice. This is very nice. But we have, also, we have also a video. Ah, this is also with John. This is very nice. I like uh, this. Is, and uh, we have also a video with you back, throw back to 1997. Ooh. When you started Wait. with uh, John Bon Jovi and um, Destination Tour, sure. we have this part when you are there. Midnight in Chelsea. Look! We were Labels. saying, oh my God, look at him. Everyone was so young. <laughs> and his hair used to look like that. Nepal. <laughs> wow, look at this job. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> How did you meet John the first time? Yeah. Um, the drummer on this tour. His name is Sean Pelton. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sean and I went to college together and we moved to New York together. I, I went to Indiana. Indiana University is where I studied music. Indiana. And then I moved to, uh, to New York with Sean. Sean is now the drummer on Saturday Night Live. The TV oh, show. Wow. oh, wow. Cool. But um, John hired Sean to do this tour, Destination Anywhere, and then yeah. uh, John asked, do you know any percussionists that sing? Because uh, Dave Stewart has a lot of loops going on on this new yeah. record, and uh, I mean, I like a lot of shaker loops. All right. yeah. And he's like, I want them played live. And so Sean said, I know the perfect person. And so I came in, <laughs> For an audition. There we go. <laughs> I learned the record, and uh, and John was like, "Wow, he sings too." <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Singing was the icing on the cake. He just wanted someone to just play the percussion. There you are. And that's that's Sean Pelton on the drums. And that is Sean. Oh okay. yeah. So uh, yes, that's Great. how I met him, and it was. Three days, I think, before the tour left. It was. Oh. Wow. There wasn't, much... <laughs> there wasn't much time for him to decide if he yeah. wanted to look for someone else, really. <laughs> wow. Well, but you did you're... the right the cheese on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 don't, uh, you have worked with John back in the 97, but also you have worked with Richie Sambora in the past. Yes, we have, uh, we have one picture with you and uh, and Richie in a project in a funky Santa songs. You say, Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, I, I we have the picture to, to show me, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, oh, I forgot to send you a video, I forgot to do that. Ah, no problem, no problem. So, I would it's the, okay. <laughs> the project, uh was born with uh, with Richie Sambora. It was 2002. 2002, yes. Uh, I wrote a song called Funky Santa and 
I just thought it would be a good idea to for him to sing with me. And I asked him and he agreed and he played a guitar solo as well. And uh, pretty amazing. He uh, <laughs> took a car there to the studio and he learned the song on the spot in the studio and sang it and played a guitar solo and left. I think he was there for maybe 30 minutes. Yeah. 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 Oh. 2002. Oh. <laughs> 2002. Wow. Was, uh, Just 18 years ago. Yeah, yesterday this, one, was yesterday. <laughs> this one is uh, your, uh, your album, right? As ever it is. That's, yeah, my solo album that I did. Zeppelin yes. is. And I made a video, and John and and uh, Richie are in the video. Too and, uh, oh, that's, what that's, 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 that's what I was going to send you. Because you should yeah. see that. Well, this, the, the song uh, Say. The song, song Say, right? Say, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Nice. So um, very, very nice. But very, I very love, nice. you know, Richie. I think asked John permission to use me for his tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah of and it, everything gets through him before. Exactly. <laughs> so we know that. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Yeah, the last one. <laughs> and then, so yes, John let me tour with Richie. Yeah. And I oh. loved touring with Richie so much. He really made me grow a lot musically because, yeah. really? I mean, you know Richie. He pushes it to the yeah. edge. He pushes oh, and uh, he pushes your limitations. And he knew that I was always scared on stage. <laughs> So it helped you a lot. And he would actually. make me do things that I had never done before, ever. Which like is great. And he just would you, push me, and things would happen. But he had a you lot. You did of many trust live with him. Many show you did together with Richie or. Uh... Pardon. You did uh, so they some concert mm -hmm. together with Richie. Some live show or. Uh, oh or yeah, uh, I did his tour. Yeah. Called made made in America. Oh. Yes. The whole tour. Oh, okay. Oh, whole tour. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> and I did some so, sort of uh, small acoustic things too. Yeah. With Ricky. Um, with Everett. Lorenza nice. as well. Yeah. With Lorenza. Everett. Yeah. We, <laughs> we have a we have a surprise for you because you oh, can. Oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> There's the party going on here. There's a party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I am gonna kill all of you for this. Oh, well. Oh, well. Start with the boys, please. That is so, Lo Lo Lorenza, Lorenza was waiting in the waiting room, and uh, we wanted to make you a surprise. And uh, because there are, you know, fans from all over the world, they want to ask you something, Everett, but really we don't have time. So maybe all the fans can ask something to Lorenza later. And uh, uh, Everett, you are really superstar. You want to say something to Lorenza? <laughs> it's so nice to see you on video. See you too. You know, uh, we haven't seen each other, everyone, in a long time. And uh, this is yeah. really sweet. You know, we're all sort of holed up in our homes. Our gig got can our last The gig we were supposed to play got canceled on our way to rehearsal. Yes. Remember Evie and then in March and then we haven't been able to do anything since. So Right, right. We are yeah. preparing the last episode with all the band here, right? With uh <laughs> <very good. laughs> we'll be 40, 40 blocks. Okay. It was a crowded everyone crowd past, crowd. present and future. <laughs> All your reach is missing, and maybe John, who can tell? So, Everett, yes. thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank yeah. you for having me. That was so much fun. 
a really a pleasure. pleasure. And we'll, thank you for this amazing gift. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Abby. I miss you. I can't wait to see I you. I miss you too. I want to see you soon. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that! I have that that. picture. Oh, oh, I have that picture. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> On my desk, I see them all the time. Ah, look, there is a. Oh, there is a. Mikey. Mikey. Wow. <laughs> there is a story behind this banner because the, I think I remember this night. Actually, yeah, it was Lorenzo um, showcase uh, the living room in 2010 for the presentation of uh, her, her album, uh, album Soul Shifter? Yes, yeah. right, Soul Shifter. Fantastic! <laughs> oh, so great, amazing. Yeah, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for yeah. coming. To yes. with us. It's been yeah, wonderful. Wonderful, really. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Well, enjoy your evening. Yeah, Ciao. thank you very much. Ciao. 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 Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.